Hello and welcome to the LMI tutorial series. My name is Aaron, I'm the training program manager here at LMI, and today we'll be covering one of the new tools, the surface pattern matching tool in the 6.1 software release. Uh, just before we get started, I'll show you what we have a scan of and what the settings are, and then we can jump into the tool. So if you take a look at my screen, you can see that we've already acquired an image. We're using a G3210, so that's a snapshot sensor. So we have our 3D point cloud already. I'm just going to walk you through some of the settings here on the sensor. We've set our exposure to about 2000. We have our active area set, so we're not uh, acquiring the scan bed. And also, if you take a look down here, you can see that we have some of the filters in place, particularly the gap setting. So that's to overcome any occlusion that we might have. The target we're using is a 3D printed training target, something we use in our courses quite a bit. I'm just going to show you right here. So it's a, uh, a 3D printed target, and we're just going to focus on the U-groove here. So this is a little bit of a U-channel. You can also see it on the screen here. That's what we'll be doing. So uh, with the surface pattern matching tool, it, uh, it's a tool that locates features based on 2D contours extracted from either 2D contrast or 3D shape data. Uh, each pattern the tool locates establishes both an X and Y location and orientation and is the opening step used in most vision applications. Uh, the surface pattern matching tool allows you to find multiple instances of a single pattern in a single scan cycle. This is especially useful when scanning complex parts or surface features that have multiple patterns of interest. The biggest benefit of the surface pattern matching tool is that you set the tool up once and all subsequent parts will be analyzed for this pattern and compared. Other benefits is that this is a much more user-friendly way to inspect a part or a section of the part. Uh, also, it works to center or, or affix your object to the center of your data viewer. And of course, it enables fast inline inspection, speeding up your production and increasing QA of every part made. Now, as you watch this video, I encourage you to follow along using your emulator. You can download our uh, GoKater emulator on LMI3D.com. Take a look at the links provided. Um, just make sure you're using version 6.1 or newer. Uh, obviously, the surface pattern matching tool is newly released, so you won't be able to use it in the older versions. Uh, just take a look at the link provided for downloading a GS file. We've provided this. It'll give you all of the tools set up at the end, so you can either work backwards or just follow along adding the tools uh, as you watch this video. All right, let's get started with adding the tool. You can see right now we're on the scan page, so I'm going to turn on record and take a couple of scans for us to play with. Just going to turn on the replay there, so we're working with a recorded acquired image. I'm going to go over to the measure page. And let's get started. First, I'm going to go into a 2D view, just makes it a little bit easier to get started with. Let's focus up on the U channel there. And I'm going to go to my tools diagram and I'm going to add the surface pattern matching tool. Click on add. That gives me a region of interest box. And what I'm going to do is I will add that region of interest box. I'm going to shrink that and focus that on the U channel that we, for, we uh, described a little bit earlier. So you can see nothing is, it's not identifying a pattern yet, we still need to tell it to. Uh, so over on the right hand side here, under the surface pattern matching the tool details, I'm going to turn on details, by default that is off, that's just to save on the processing load. Uh, so I have sized my region, turned on details, what we have to do now is we're going to focus on that file drop-down bar and operational drop-down menu bar. Uh, so right now we don't have a file, we need to create one. So under operation, there's a drop-down menu. I'm going to click create. What that does is now that has created a pattern within that region of interest box. Now after you've created that file, you should be able to see in the file drop-down menu a file dot hbd.user, so in this case we have a surface pattern uh, 0000. Uh, now what if, uh, you might be asking, what if your object has a lot of detail and you can't get a good pattern? Or what if you don't have a good scan to begin with, uh, maybe the lighting is a little off? We'll be using the pattern editor later on, that's a, an add-on program to the surface pattern matching tool, lets you manipulate the, uh, the pattern that we have here. We'll be showing that in the third video in the series, so not to worry. 
Uh, what I'd like you to do right now, though, is scroll down on the uh, surface pattern matching tool detail there. So next to the measurements tab, you can see features. I'll let you click on features and enable both point and line. And just as a side note, these features are outputs that can be fed into subsequent tools. I'll get you to go back to the measurements, click there. So right now we have instance count, meaning that uh, it is a binary reading saying it has found one instance of the pattern that you've defined. As we mentioned before, the model we've created will be compared to all future scans regardless of rotation or location uh, within reason as long as it's within the data view or under the field of view of your sensor. So to demonstrate that, uh, you can see my screen. I'm going to go to grayscale just to further highlight. You can really see the pattern being outlined. Uh, teal on green is really difficult to see. And I'm going to turn off the region, meaning that the region of interest box uh, just doesn't apply anymore, so we're not cropping anything out by purpose. I'm going to go to uh, the previous scan, which I rotated on purpose. And I'm going to go to the other scan, scan number three, which I also rotated on purpose. And you can see that the surface pattern matching tool is picking it up and uh, applying the X, y, X and Y axes as we go. I'm going to turn the region of interest back on just to show and just to demonstrate how you can use the region of interest box to effectively crop out uh, things that you don't want. In this case, that is not what we want to do. I'd like you to scroll down if you're following along and turn on match quality. So what match quality is, is that measures how well the found pattern matches your model pattern. Uh, so to be precise, it is the percentage of the contours in the model that match this instance that we've created. And that's it. That's all there is to setting up the surface pattern matching tool. So in review, the surface pattern matching tool creates model patterns to locate multiple instances of a pattern. You can locate both whole parts and features on parts. Uh, this can handle partially occluded parts. You can use this as a replacement for anchoring and also match against multiple models by applying more than one surface pattern matching tool. As you can see, uh, you can add as many as you like. In the next video, we'll be demonstrating something a little more challenging. So this will be a pattern where you have to use a surface filter. Thank you for joining. Bye.